Hello everyone, my name is Isaac and today we are doing a tier list of programming projects that you can be doing in 2026. Okay, so the year is about to end and I think it's a good idea to take a step back and sort of plan for the coming year. So I have grouped up a bunch of different types of projects that you can go ahead and do for the next year and uh, yeah we are going to put them on a tier list right here so i think starting right off we are going to cover um ai image generators just like this one and you know what i think everybody can agree that we should stop generating ai images they are <laughs> just a bit too cringy for my liking and uh, I think people are sort of starting to get over the initial hype of uh, something like an image generator and also whenever you go to websites like this and you see ah uh, you have to pay five bucks for two thousand tokens I mean what does that even mean and it's not a fun thing as a user so this goes straight into the F tier I think it's going to live down here at the bottom and uh, yeah next up we are going to do something like the personal website so this is a screenshot from a personal website starter that i have created and uh, you know what i think 2026 is the year for personal websites to come back so People have been grinding Instagram reels and I guess YouTube as well, like I am doing now for a bit too long. And personal websites are just too fun to ignore. For instance, this is my personal website. I just shit post a bunch of stuff here. I also post photos and update my reading list. So uh, yeah, I really enjoy it. And I think more people are going to create something similar. And also what's cool with stuff like AI is that even people that doesn't really know how to code can definitely create some very fun uh, personal websites so i think this is definitely a tier material right here okay that's great now we are going to do let's say okay indie game development and this is going to be huge in 2026 i'm sure of it i got super inspired the other day when i was at a party here in oslo and somebody whoops and somebody came up to me with a freaking usb stick and <laughs> they have their game demo on this and yeah i just thought damn that's so cool and uh, that has inspired me to try more game development so this actually is even cooler than personal website and you know what it belongs in the cracked and gold oh, tier for sure yeah. also this is a screenshot from i think it is called a sledding game and whenever the youtube algorithm gives me something from the game dev community i'm just like so jealous of what everyone is doing because it seems so fun it's time consuming difficult for sure but i think the reward on doing something like this can be great so this is cracked and goated okay now we are going to cover utility apps so what i'm thinking here is just creating a bunch of small utility apps for things that you actually use so just like this guy has been doing for a couple of years he just creates a super minimal app for everything that uh, he needs himself it seems like so I actually think this uh, is super cool and I can imagine trying to do something similar for instance if I need a two-factor authenticator app for my phone it would be so cool if I actually went ahead and created that myself so uh, yeah utility apps I think it would be cool to have homemade utility apps for your phone so this is uh, you know what this is b tier i mean it's sort of like why reinvent the wheel when you have a calculator app but i don't know maybe it's fun to create your own bunch of small set of apps so yeah that would be very cool now let's do this one a SaaS application so if you're not familiar apps like these have been popping off on the internet for the past couple of years and Dude, I think 2026 is probably going to be another good year for creating just super simple digital products to solve something. This is sort of like utility apps, just with a more business centric uh, standpoint. And uh, I think uh, the 
very generic vibe that a lot of assassins give out just like this like super purple probably <laughs> vibe coded <laughs> website um not really digging it but it's probably fun to do so you know what this goes in the c tier right here okay probably gonna see more of those but not feeling too inspired by it right now <laughs> but i think something like to-do list applications are going to make a huge comeback in 2026 so these have fallen out of style after everything has been uh, very easy to vibe code but i think people are uh, starting to realize hey we got to learn the fundamentals of programming again and you know what to-do list apps are perfect for that so this is uh, i mean it's still a to-do list app so we can put it in the b tier <laughs> next to the utility apps but i think it will be very fun to see some homemade to-do lists again okay we are left with two things and uh, i'm saving the best for last which i'm going to put over here and uh, yeah, this one is uh, an event manager. So I really want uh, Facebook events to die in 2026. <laughs> so I am trying to promote this idea right here. So if anybody wants to create a new event organizer that can overthrow Mark Zuckerberg's event <laughs> empire, that would be super nice. And I know people try to do this all of the time, but nothing seems to stick. But uh, yeah, maybe we got to think outside of the box here and do some email based event uh, organizing or text based or yeah, that would be sick. So this is a tier for sure. It's probably a fun project. And now my banger prediction for 2026 is that apps that aim to reduce your screen time is going to be popping off. So this has already started to happen and I feel like there is a trend online where people are realizing damn we can't be spending 17 hours a day on our phones and i think there is an untapped market on trying to create some actually useful tools for this so either if it's just like screen time insights on steroids or if there are some even more custom stuff like custom launchers i know have begun uh, being popular we have things like i think it's just called dumb phone ios uh, and yeah, this is just like a minimal launcher that you can install on your phone. And uh, the idea here is actually very solid. So you don't necessarily need to be buying new tech like I do with the small and weird phones. And uh, maybe the goal here is to use your tech more intentionally. So if you have any good ideas in this space, I really think this is the way to go. So you know what, this is going also in the cracked and go to tier but still behind game dev because that just seems so fun. Okay, so this is correct and goated and uh, yeah, I really think this has some potential. Maybe it's just a trend, but I do feel like if people are tired of just new and super beast algorithms all of the time, uh, making you too addicted to things. So this is uh, how my list looks like right now. I think it's pretty good. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with any of my predictions and ratings on things here. And uh, yeah, you can also jump in the Discord, link in the description and discuss with me there. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.